matchups he can do, but I totally respect why he's going Meta Knight here over Snake because he doesn't want the War of Attrition. He wants Ryder to go ahead and make a mistake and then capitalize off of it. And what it's going to come down to is the respect and the slow game. I do like the use of the footsies here because he's able to go ahead and get a grab and start the percent off on his favor. Yeah, um, yeah, you can see <laughs> Rido rocking the tag. I, I feel like their back air is the same. That's what I saw from the trailer. Yeah. Other, otherwise, most of their moves are totally different. But here we go. Rido already taking a fair amount of damage from AC 86 onto his life right here. And oh, that was good. going for a deep edge guard, Rido's still not going to fall prey to that. Does have a pretty good recovery in terms of vertical distance. Um, all he really would have had to worry about there was having to tech the stage, but he did not even get put in that situation. Yeah. And it's good, for him it back. Not, it's good for him to not even panic, too. One of the things that like you can do as Duck Hunt is honestly set up a can for a good purpose because your, your opponent always has to respect can. And it does cause the screen to actually focus a little bit more on can. But the one thing that you have to be careful is like when your aerial approach or when your ground approach because the can has that little bit of a drift that you have to pay respect. It gets the back oh, I do like that opportunity okay. because the reason why he has can there is for defensive play there. If AC wants to go for a grab, wants to go for a dare camp, he has to respect can, up air, up tilt, a lot of things. So the fact that he lured Ryder to come out for him is really good. So AC pulling away on that first stock. He's going to get a grab right here. The down throw not going to convert into much, but he is starting to attack on this extra damage, getting very good mileage on this stock. 45% uh, onto Raitu, who's yet to find an answer to AC right here. Yeah. Uh, oh. He is mixing up the, the can along with the gunman to kind of apply a lot of pressure with these projectiles. Haven't uh. seen too much of the um, the discus, or excuse me, the uh, clay pigeon. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do find that KO with the can by the ledge. Super strong. Okay, I do like the fact that Ace is going back to the same game plan. Okay, I'm still the one in the lead here. Rido has to make the approach to me. Goes for the forward air. I do like the fact that he's trying to play this. Okay, he might go for the low recovery. That's usually what Duck Hunt Dog means do. Always make sure they check the low recovery. The one thing that I do like the AC, like I said, the whole time, he's been respecting Can. Can is frame one. So he knows if he's going to make the play, he's going to make the play around Can, and then he goes and makes the play himself. Absolutely, and you can see that Rido is starting to bring this back already with this grab into the can, comboing into the up air. Brilliant play from Raido and taking the lead, of course, on the second stock. Yeah, that was such a mastermind. I'm not gonna lie, like he just had the can in the right position to go for that play. Oh yeah, I mean he set up, he set up <laughs> for that, and that's the kind of thing you see Raido go for all the time. AC almost falling prey to himself right there by the ledge. Good back air, and he sets up for a tech chase, but unfortunately unable to capitalize the forward smash. And now that uh, Rido is taking the lead, you can see the clay pigeon starting to come up a little bit. Oh my god, the patience. Trying to wait out an option from AC to see how he would be able to convert even further. Good back air, and that's actually going to take the stock. AC was 60%. His objective here is to honestly stay very calm. Rido, if he makes the approach, always check can, but not only that, look for look for that. Like the fact that he wants a grab because he wants you to shield because you're gonna respect can, you're gonna respect gunman. It's very similar to how a link main would play. You toss the can to check jumps and then you toss gunman to check approaches. He finally goes through the gunman because of course there's a little bit of delay before the gunman fires each shot and then you just go ahead and capitalize. Okay, 132% on AC. He is playing on borrowed time right about now. You can see Rido just slowing the pace down to himself again. Fading back into the corner, using Gunman to apply the safe pressure while he has the can out. When he has the can out, he can press the B button to shoot at the can Ooh, and up. set up for things like that, man. The pressure, I, you can see that AC was just sitting in shield because the can was right next to him and he got poked yeah. by the Gunman. That was such a tight setup coming out from Raido. And it was good too because we saw him roll back the last time the can touched him. Because he knew he's going to go for a grab, he's going to go follow up after Gunman, he might go for an aerial. So me rolling back is really is a little bit much better than spot dodging because he might call out the spot dodge war. So he really just wanted to take center stage back and then see what he can find from there. Unfortunately, the shield pokes are much more prevalent in this game. And I feel like sometimes players forget to actually angle the shield because it will actually protect you. Still, even if your shield is that small. We're going to kick off game number two on Pokemon Stadium 2. No change of scenery. I do respect the fact that AC is stuck with the Meta Knight in this case. He is a little bit more practiced with the snake in this game, I would say. Or at yeah. least you see him using it in a ton more matchups. 
But I can see the logic. I mean, this is probably one of the few times he's played a duck hunt of this caliber, especially since, you know, Raido is the best in his class, and mm. he doesn't really, you know, compete against AC that much. They're not from the same region. Exactly. Um, the, only, the only person I would see AC able to compete with against is, like, Tree. Tree is another good duck hunt deck okay. uh, main, but he doesn't really come out the same For sure. Uh, either, either way, it's not a matchup that you would play too often, but you could see that he's played this matchup in, in Smash 4 to know that uh, Meta Knight has the tools to kind of close the gap between himself and Duck Hunt, so uh, Raito has to play very precise uh, because if, as long as there's a single opening, he could uh, approach with that dash attack, and that dash attack will lead to a conversion that could possibly net him the KO. You can see a very even uh, neutral right here between the two, 80% on both. AC would control the ledge. He's just gonna jump right over that Raido, getting that back there in. Uh, that was, what a reversal. All because like AC okay. knew the can was coming, and then he allowed Raido to go for the jump recovery. So that kind of like switched the sides there, and unfortunately AC paid the price for going for letting him have that. Oh my god, Raido just taking away a quick 38%. Here's a grab. He goes for the raw back air. Oh, I like that. Even dropped him Ooh, down. Nice. That, that looked like it might have been an untouchable. Yeah, it, it, it was starting to get into that. Um, I saw the red sparks. Yeah. It may have not been enough percent for it to be a true untechable, but it, might, it may have been the case that Raido was trying to initiating the up B so that he had been holding up and the LSI kicks yeah. in. So then the uh, launch speed is actually increased if you're holding up. So oh, this that, actually that might be a great untechable. ladder, but unfortunately, ladders do not work that way like they did in Smash 4. It was so close though. You had him at the very top. Yeah, the ladder involves a lot more reads at this point. I mean, you can get them, but you you really, like, if you got a KO with that, it's because you read your opponent. Yeah. Or they messed up on DIing, did an air dodge, whatever whatever and, the case may be. And a lot of opponents seem to panic as soon as they keep getting the ladder. They're like, yeah. oh, I want a directional air dodge. Oh, the last yeah. hit of back actually being caught by the Clay Pigeon. But it's the one thing that Clay, Clay Pigeon got buffed since Smash 4. It can confirm into another Clay Pigeon, into okay. another follow-up. So that's one thing AC has to be careful about because Clay Pigeon's can lead into another one. I like one thing that I'm seeing from AC is that he's starting to kind of like knock away the can with these forward airs. So he's spacing yeah. out these forward airs to just keep the can at bay. And both players kind of trading blow for bro. Look at that rush in. He saw the can come out, just ducked under it with the dash grab and grabbed Raido yeah. out of the corner. Really he gets, smart. He gets a low profile. I mean, even though can is frame one, it doesn't mean the end lag is. So he's just able to go in. Unfortunately, though, all the Ooh. mashing in the world, not going to stop you from that confirmed. Edmund, you kind of called it right. That's Down one of those. Down throw into the can. Yeah, man. he's been going for it. I mean, that's just the, the, that's the classic Raido right there. I'm not surprised to see it at all. And he's setting up shop with the can and the gunman once again. Oh, my God. Can thrown into the back air. Starting to get a little dangerous for AC. He's starting to slip away. Mm -hmm. Victory was like in AC's hands the first game, and now yeah. Raido just brought this out into an entire fortress of his own. <laughs> I kind of like how he did that, and he waited for the can to go where it was, and then he wanted to count, calm off the can himself. Yeah, and that and that's something you have to do absolutely against. Oh no, that might cost you. He eats one up air off of the whiff shuttle loop. That should be it. Yeah, Dang. down throw up air. And that was not a true conversion, but he uh, di'd in, so he just went for the straight up air, and Raido was able to secure that. Game number two with the two stock, he'll be advancing in the bracket. Yeah, I feel like he DI'd in out of respect of the can. Like I said, like if, if, if he DI's uh, out, yeah. the can will catch here, it and then he'll confirm. Trap. It was all a frame trap. It's a trap. It's a DI trap and a frame trap in all in one. It's a like, do you want the can or do you want a DI in? And I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of like pick pick the way you die at that point. Dang man, I wanted to tell the people that we were commentating, but. We didn't get a break. For some reason, that, that thing didn't even like, uh, you know, Twitter was working just fine, and now the internet's dead. I think, yeah, so if you guys are all watching this back at home, and you guys are wondering what's up with the frame the, uh, drops, everybody's having them. Um, what uh, frame drops? There's no frame drops. Frame frame drops in terms of it's stream perfect. quality. Man, I wish, it, I, I wish we lived, perfect. I wish we lived in a perfect world where I could tell everybody, like, yo, man, the stream is always perfect, but unfortunately, when you have so so much service going around that does cost frame drops, Net traps drops, uh, so it's on everybody's end. So don't worry, guys. We they are doing their best to fix it. So if there's more frame drops, we apologize ahead of time. But they are doomed to happen as we are streaming multiple right. games. You know, I was talking a little bit about how you know how much talent this 15k pop prize tournament brought out tonight, and this happens to be one of the players, Mr. R, who actually is kind of a resident of SoCal for the time being, uh, living at. Sky's house, I believe. Yeah. So he, he's here and he's training. 
you know, at, at, at his chamber with, with just like in a ninja ninja spirit, but <laughs> doesn't really come out to too many locals. But you know, the money's on the line, so that, that is true. Said, let me let me go cash in, and he actually had a really really close game three last stock last hit set with uh, Kira Flex. Yes, and just he a few had, matches ago, and so. he did uh, he did suffer a little bit close to Muffin game one. Uh, Lucas versus Crom, probably oh, wow. not a matchup that he was used to at all. But absolutely, that's one of those things I tell people. Like the reason why sometimes you don't see these players come out to like some of our, some of our locals is iron.